Alright guys, welcome back to another video of True Review. Today we got the Springfield Hellcat, like always. And here we have the SD with the Olight attachment. So I was looking around, I was trying to find a, an attachment that would be good for the Hellcat as far as maybe a laser or light goes. This is not the OSP model. I will not be getting the red dot. I personally just feel that with how small the Hellcat is and me using that as a everyday carry, um, there's just no reason to really put a red dot on it and make it less concealable. Um, that's just my personal preference. But anyway, today uh, we'll be putting the Olight on the Hellcat and showing you how that looks. Um, it definitely fits, but it, it's not flush with the barrel, so some people might not like that. So let's get into it. So if you take the Olight off here, just squeeze that right off. All right. Now I'm going to move the Olight because it doesn't fit the same on the Hellcat as it would on the SD. But this does fit on the rail here. If I can get it on there. Is it on there? Oh, yep, that's on there. Okay, so getting the light on there. Just going to have to push that all the way back until it it goes. Now, the Hellcat now has the light on it. Now, as I said, it's not flush with the barrel. So if you can see there, it kind of sticks off eh, about a finger width or so. So maybe half an inch. Um, but it definitely is still capable of... Firing with it, um, you can turn it on and I mean, I would say this looks pretty comfortable. It really does. Um, looking at it, <clears throat> it definitely does the job. I should probably lock this in here. Oh yeah, that's right. So this is not going to go on completely flush. You're going to have to, you know, guide this back just a little bit so that this can lock on. Now if it doesn't lock move it oh you heard that little bit of click there just that that just that little bit it's just a little off but now it should lock into place so it locked into place there we're good to go so there is a little bit of movement to be honest it's not the tightest or the straightest but it is on there and you can use it um i was thinking about getting the black one for my hellcat but then again, I just got uh, the We The People holster. You can look at the review on that in the last video. Um, that is the first video is uh, the holster. And then the second video is with the Hellcat in the holster. A little bit of review there. Um, I don't know with it not going on flush here if uh, anyone's going to make a holster for putting the Olight in here so you can carry this. But, um, there's definitely no room to fit it. It's not, yeah, it's definitely not going in there. So, there's that. Um, I definitely think it would be a great idea if someone did come out with a holster that fit the Olight like this um, for the Hellcat. If you do want a light like this, I know there's the Viridian... Uh, 5C um, laser and light attachment which I was also thinking about getting but I'm just I'm just not sure if anyone's gonna make a holster for it so I'm just kind of waiting to find out you know what um, what company is gonna make holsters for attachments on the Hellcat if anyone knows you know put it in the comments below let me know because I actually don't um, but I don't think there is anything yet Hellcat's still a very new gun but uh, you can put an Olight attachment on here, and I just want to show that today. So um, I found, I think, maybe only one other video on it. And he was saying even you'd have to, you know, add another a piece on here to make it tighter or whatnot. I didn't do that, so I just threw it on the way it came 
from putting it on the SD straight on the Hellcat and it works. Um, like, subscribe, and if you want to see more of these videos, uh, comment down below, let me know. Thanks for watching, this is True Review.